Okay, in this video I'm just going to show you uh, a little bit different technique on how to make an eye than the Neeks tutorial. So let's go ahead and create a NURB sphere. Just like that. Let's go ahead and rotate this 90 degrees. No, I don't know why. We're going to rotate it next. Okay. And now go ahead and modify freeze transformation. See what that did to my channel box? It uh, evened it out. It's all zeros and ones now. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to right click, we're going to go to isoparm, and we're going to drag an isoparm to here. So again, right click, go to isoparm, grab one of these, and just drag it in. Excuse me. Now we're going to go to surfaces. Actually, uh, edit NURBS, insert isoparm. Okay, excuse me. Now we'll go to isoparm, grab that, edit NURB, detach. Right there. Now that is a different color from that. Okay, it's pretty cool. Now just apply a black texture on this. And apply a white texture on this. We'll make it a phone. Okay, there you go. You have an eyeball. Actually, let's go back and make this a phone. Okay. All right, now we'll just do a quick eyelid. <coughs> so we're going to create another sphere. This time we're going to rotate it that way, though. See how it is? And we're going to make it slightly larger than our eye. The reason I'm doing this is we're going to open this up in a second. I'll show you. Okay, let's go ahead and scale this up a little bit more. Right there. Okay, good. Now click on the eye. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to our inputs of our channel box. If the channel box isn't open, you can hit Control A twice. And we're going to go to the inputs. We're going to go to the inputs and we're going to go to Start Sweep. Actually, End Sweep. And uh, click on End Sweep, middle mouse button, left, and you'll notice that it starts to open up the eye. This is good. Okay, we're going to take this thing and rotate it like this. There you go. And we could take this and we'll make it green. Okay, so there you go. This is the eye. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to um, group everything and we're going to apply a. Actually, I don't even need to group anything, just highlight everything. Okay. We're going to go to our animation menu here. And we're going to go to Create Deformer, and then Lattice Option, and go to Reset Settings. And we're going to make this thing 3 by 5 by 3, and then 3 by 3 by 3. Okay, and click Create. Now, what does this thing do? Well, what I could do is I could click on the lattice and go to Lattice Point. And I could highlight these lattice points and scale them. And you'll notice that it deforms my geometry, which is pretty cool. You don't want to deform it too much, though, because it will mess up your model. These don't do a whole lot because they're not really attached to anything. There we go. So I'm giving the eye some really, really interesting shapes here. You can modify yours to be slightly different than mine, however you want to do it. You see how it does this? It's called... Um, clipping. You don't want it to clip like this, so just make sure it doesn't clip. So yeah, you have to modify it 
little by little if you don't want it to clip. Let's make the eye a bit elongated. Okay. And that's it. Now you can take this lattice and move it. And check that out. The eye moves with it, which is pretty cool. Don't move the eye out of the lattice. If you do, it gets crazy. And you lose your deformation, so don't do that. Um, you can do something like this. You could go to, don't do this, but if you want to, you can. Go to edit, delete by type history. So that, <clears throat> you have to highlight everything. Edit, delete by type history. So that gets rid of the deformer, and it keeps the eye the shape it is. Okay, it's pretty cool. There you go, you have your eye. I hope that helped.